Hi, I'm Barry John, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. I have two guys with me, and I'll let them introduce themselves. I'm Mycroft Holmes. I'm Speedball, and we are on Planet Kerwan. Yep. Welcome to Metropolis. This is the level that was used as the demo level for the purposes of the game, for the most part. Both technical for investors, as well as gameplay for the players. This is something I did actually play, because I remember playing this demo. Uh, this is the first in a long line of Ratchet and Clank giant Coruscant-esque world levels. Yep, and we actually come back to Metropolis several times over the series. Hi there, Fuzzball. And we have the Blaster, also known as our first actual gun. Wow, uh, no two-week waiting period. Well, I mean, come on. You have guys selling heavy weaponry by the uh, by pe by random landing pads on this city. <laughs> I still need to finish the newest Ratchet and Clank, and this is making me want to go back and do Welcome it. Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quark Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. I don't know, bruised egos are pretty hard to recover from. Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Oh. Poor Clank, so disappointed. I'm just going to say, though, coming here first to do this as my first objective uh, actually makes it a little bit harder than it normally would be because... Uh, well, this is also where you pick up the helipack upgrade for Clank, so if you grab that first and then do this, this course, it's a heck of a lot easier. But I suppose this is just, you know, making absolutely sure that you're okay with the platforming and you know how to wall jump in this game. But I like the fact that, you know, as you move through the level, you can see that it's not a skybox back there. Those are actual uh, models in the background that are moving, that, you know, you change your perspective on as you move through the level. Like, this is a huge level, even if we don't see or go to most of it. And that was a very big thing for the time, that he didn't really have something like that before. No. Except maybe like, I don't know, Mario 64 is the biggest thing I can think of. And... These moving walls. Mm -hmm. You may have noticed back there a little glowing orange thing. That's another gold bolt I'll have to get back to with the collectathon later on in the game. I don't really have too much to say because it's it's Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> like we we've gone over all of the, the mechanics already. Yeah. Uh, that, that have been explained so far. So it's pretty much just. And it's Ratchet and Clank, so there's not like an Oscar caliber story. Well, I mean, yeah, it's not. It, people don't play this game for the story. They play it for the writing and for, you know. Well, in later games, they play it for the gunplay. Yeah, the gunplay in this is. In later games, is very good. Listen up, you lard balls! And this is Olga, one of the... who actually does come back in later games. What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it does weak, weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast! <laughs> Bet that's not all. 
If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day. But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. So, exactly how are we supposed to do this obstacle course better? Fair. Too bad, life's not fair. Under fire, probably. Probably. But here is our next obligatory purchase, and it's a thousand bolts. Like this all the time. But here's what confuses me, though. Uh, if Quark wants us to have the swing shot at this point, I don't think Quark is really fully aware of Ratchet and Clank yet. So why, like, why all this ring of morale about getting the swing shot when we know that uh, he's, uh, well. All he has to do is just not hand over the swing shot, and he's golden. Yes, but you forget Quark is also a huge dumbass. Hmm. Uh, maybe he needed uh, a thousand bolts to pay his support. I, I don't think he... I don't think he has a gambling problem. <laughs> uh, unless he's betting on Ratchet failing. You know, it's interesting, though. We don't really get to see the wrench slide much in future games because it's all, uh... What is it? Swing shot. It, yeah. Well, not just that, but in later games, like, you get the grind boots about halfway through this game. Actually, not even that. Uh, but before the first third is done, you get the grind boots. And in future games, we wouldn't slide on that. We'd grind on it. Yeah. I like the grind courses. They're very fun. Oh, the grind boots are amazing. Quickly center the cat. Ratchet and Clank probably didn't invent grinding in video games, but it did make it extremely fun. Oh yeah. So this is the blaster. It's a pea shooter. Uh, you may have noticed a green or a circle on some of the enemies. So that is this game's auto soft lock. Um, if you are not moving and you're holding a gun that you know can track enemies like the blaster or the devastator you can put a green circle on the target like that or it's supposed to be not moving and it shots will automatically home towards that target you can accurately aim the blaster if you hold down the L1 button. but this is the sort of thing where the inability to side strafe or to uh, properly lock onto a target really hamper the gunplay in this game. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad they fixed that with uh, the next games because I can't imagine trying to play the rest of this series with no sidestep. Yeah, no, no being able to circle strafe or anything like that. That just. ow. Like, can you imagine trying to beat some of the later bosses with no circle strafing? Or the arenas? It... No, you can't. There's no arena in this game. Like, it just reminds me, like, there's no, you know, set piece arena where you're going through wave through wave through wave of enemy. It's not in this game. That one starts showing up the next game. Well, let me tell you, some of those challenge arenas are fucking nuts. Like, defeat like 10 waves and then the boss without getting hit is some bullshit, let me tell you. You're looking at the guy who's going to be 100% completing this game and maybe doing the rest of the trilogy, so... Well, no, I've done I'm... it before. I've done it before. <laughs> You're commiserating with me is what's happening. And here is Big Al. Ratchet, that's the man we saw on the Infobot. Remember? He knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself... Nerd. Robot ...guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? 
Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and fly. I mentioned time. before how uh, certain That's upgrades seven. carry over between games. You know, they're just built into it, it from the start. Uh, okay. The helipack upgrade is the one that keeps going forward, but the later rocket pack upgrade is the one that goes away between games. Cool now. <laughs> yeah. You so basically, man. he can't quite fly, but he can give you a, a double jump, right? Yeah, well. We'll have to, we can uh, go through that right now. We have the long jump there, and we have the high jump. We can still, Ratchet can still technically double jump, but the high jump is higher. In later games, I don't think there is a high jump. I think it's just a double. A new helipack stretch jump featured across this gap. While you're running, crouch using the R1 button and then jump. Just me double checking some stuff there. But yeah, it's one of those things where Clank's uh, extra jump there just becomes integral to the gameplay. Try using the glide feature of your new helipad. Jump, and then press and hold the X button in midair to glide. But something I've noticed about like in this game is that uh, there are only a few weapons you can use while in midair. And the bomb glove is one of them. Yeah, they fixed that in the red. Like, I, I imagine a lot of the commentary on this game is just going to be, yeah, they fixed that in the next game. <laughs> but here's the thing, like, this game was good enough, it got a next game. Yes, that's something you have to understand for all that we're like, yeah, they fixed that in the next game. This game was really good when it came out. Yeah, and I mean, just even though I was the guy playing this, just watching this in motion, and like I can tell that this is a tightly done game. It's smooth. It's got options. It's not. It's not. Oh god, what's the word I'm looking for? There's no real. Yeah, <sighs> it's not like it's broken or not broken. I should say like. Poorly made. You, yeah, like you can tell that the guys who made this game knew what they were doing and were making an effort for it. You know, I I, I, I shouldn't say that about Fallout 76. It had a rough launch, but it's actually pretty good now. Just don't buy it full price. It's not worth full price. <laughs> <laughs> After that launch, don't buy it full price. They might have fixed it, but make them understand. <laughs> and this is me realizing, wait a second, I didn't actually need to do that because there is a fixed jump up spot to get up here on top of the luggage. But I did it anyways because, well, why not stand on the... Uh, Actually, you know, that, that that tells me about one thing, like, the level design is, there's no invisible walls in this game. Well, that's because there are giant pits. Yeah, I was about well, to say. Well, not just that, but, like, in this game, like, it would, like, the invisible wall, it's not a wall there. It's, or, sorry, it's not an invisible, they actually put up physical, you know, safety grading to indicate the limit of it. It's not like Ratchet will just automatically uh, walk off the edge if you do something stupid. You have to actually make the effort to uh, go through, go into the bottomless pits. Some of the better platforming games out there, you know, have the character wobble if the, he hits the uh, the edge. You know. Yeah, there's that there. Uh, honestly, that's a very bad spot for uh, the little alien dude because if you get to that or. Sorry. It's one of those things where uh, its position just means there's not really anything to use it on or with. 
and it's not like there's a skill point for activating all of them throughout the game. Oh, well, then what's the point of it? Yeah, like, it's it just in one of those... Like, there are some other ones, like the one on Pokitaru, for example, is really good because it's near the start of an escort mission and having that extra, you know, auto-targeting, auto-firing helper makes the escort go a lot better. But that one there, he's just hidden away in a corner and doesn't really help. Which is yet another... Re works much better when he's free roaming. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say, like, you know, it's yet another reason why Mr. Zircon is better. But we were talking about bottomless pits. Uh, <laughs> now we are going to fight car to car on a train as it's flying through the skies of Metropolis. And somewhere, Nathan Drake is screaming in terror. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, it's Naughty Dog versus Insomniac, but it's it's still that case of, you know, the obligatory train section. But, you know, still makes it better than the fact that, you know, we're on the... It, it, there we go. Is that there are actually, you know, multiple sewer sections in this game, and they're actually decent sewer levels, which is, you know... Unusual. Not... Yeah. And the music, like, you know, we, we've we been talking about how awesome this game is. Oh, I'd void the mines. Like, just how general the game is, like, how good it is, but... The music in this game doesn't get a lot of love it should be getting. Greetings, Executive German Dreck. Uh, this robot, voiced by, by Sylvester Stallone in the movie. Yeah, because, uh, remember, in the movie and in the 2016 game, uh, this guy was originally supposed to have a boss fight attached to him, but they got cut from the, this game, so it got re-implemented in, uh, in the 2016 retelling and was partly shown in the movie as well. Huh. I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. But I also like that cutscene because it also shows that Quark and Ratchet's... Uh, their priorities are not the same. Yeah. You mean Ratchet and Clank, not Quark and Ratchet. Well, Quark and Ratchet don't have any similar priorities at all in this game, but yeah, Clank and Ratchet don't have the same priorities. They're both, one wants Drek, one wants Quark, and how this develops over the course of the game is one of the stronger points of the story. But next time, we head off to Eudora and a logging site. And not a boss fight. <laughs>